Summit, sit. Good girl. You ready to go off leash? Okay. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Yes, it has been a while since I posted. Since, uh, God, since I took that trip to Klamath Crater Lake. Since then, in the intervening three weeks, I've been extraordinarily sick. I've probably had the worst cold I've ever had. Worst eye infection I ever had. I still got some rattly lungs. So, not completely gone, but on the mend. And so I haven't done anything but post a few shorts in the meantime, a post or two. But start to get back into it. So the weather finally cleared up. We've got an 80 degree day. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long, long winter. Just dragging on and on in the Northwest here. But, you know, it looks like spring has finally arrived. So I'm out on a walk. Gonna just get the dog some exercise, get myself some exercise, get some fresh air. And I got some gardening work to do, some chores around the house. So stick around. And I'll show you what I've been up to. Tell you some plans that I've got as well. All right, back home again. With my dog. <laughs> that was a great little walk. Wore her out. It's about a three mile hike and a little loop that I do around a local park. Uh, anyway, so I, um, I've had a couple of requests to show you my garden. So I'm going to do that first here. And then I'll show you a couple of other things about my living situation. All right. So I inherited some raised beds when I moved into this place. And I'm getting ready to plant a couple things. I've got some geraniums. I've got a, what is that? Sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. Some marigolds. Marigolds are a great pest deterrent, especially aphids. I've got some good lettuce going on, some radishes, some beet seedlings, my peas, and I don't know what I'm going to put in the front of the peas yet. I planted some onion sets. This is oregano, and I've talked to the gal that owns this place, and she says I can get rid of that. She doesn't want it, and neither do I. So, yeah, that's another project for another time. Now, let's see, I'm going to put a cucumber on this and I've got a, um, a few of the onion sets that didn't fit into that first bed. And this is a little apple, I don't know, kind of a Charlie Brown apple tree. But, you know, there's a, it just finished blooming and it has set some fruit. This greenhouse is just full of stuff. Oh my goodness, just stuff. I have way too much stuff. You know, I emptied out my storage unit and I brought everything over here and try to get that closed. And I'm trying to get my life organized again. And I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So this is my place. I live upstairs. It is an apartment over garage situation. And there's two garage bays downstairs. And this one here is mine. And I'll just quickly go in there and show you. There's the kitty. There's Callie, Callie kitty. Anyway, yes, I just have a clutter of stuff. I do have my own washer dryer, which is cool. Ah, uh, and more odds and ends than I need. And I'm gonna be holding some garage sales and getting rid of stuff. 
All right, back outside. Hello, baby dog. Hello, baby dog. And so let me show you over here. Whoop. Tripping over the dog leash. So I have a little postage stamp of a lawn. This uh, belongs to the landlord. That belongs to the landlord as well. That's actually mine. I lived in that for a short time. Tiny living situation. Um, yeah, it's a project. And I seriously need to pressure wash it and do my repairs so I can pass it along to the next owner. This is mine as well. It is six by 12 and I'm going to be using it as my storage unit. More on that here in a minute. So this started life in 1984 as a Shasta Friendship 16. And it's been through a few owners since then and it's seen a few miles. Boy, it desperately needs a pressure wash. Let me show you inside. The interesting thing about this is that it's been gutted and had some custom work done on the inside, which, you know, at a passing glance, looks pretty nice. But I lived in this thing for a while and I know its shortcomings. So this butcher block top was never finished. It desperately needs to be sanded down and have a finish put onto it. The Dometic two burner stove is nice. Nice big sink, but this is not hooked up to anything. There's no water tank. There's no wastewater tank. Um, yeah, there you go. And then this cabinet down below uh, is a custom made. And, and, you know, and the person tried, but he really didn't have very good cabinet making skills. Um, none of the drawers close really nicely. If you look at this one, look at that hinge. That hinge is just floating free. It's not attached to the cabinet frame. And, you know, there's a two gold zero solar panels up top and there is a nice lithium ion battery uh, and a charge controller but this is just a mess look at look at this you know it's just a bunch of wires that have been running there they're i think one of them is labeled <laughs> so there would have to be a lot of uh, troubleshooting and figuring out so the different kinds of woods here, these are like oak cabinets from Home Depot. Um, eighth inch plywood covering up some of it, tongue and groove pine covering up some of it. It's got some luxury vinyl flooring, but take a look at that cupping you can see going on right there. And if you walk around on this flooring, you know, you can feel some squishy spots. And I don't know if that's like a hole in the original vinyl that's underneath this planking or what's going on. But the bed platform needs to be rebuilt. Um, it's solid wood underneath there. And so if you sleep on a foam mattress pad with a solid bottom, you get some mold. So there is a little bit of mildew going on down there and it needs to have um, slats installed so that all needs done i need to tear up the floor see what's going on fix that there um, is an unfinished corner over here you see a little bit of staining around some of the windows right here a small amount of leaking but some of that uh, like this in particular was because i lived in this over the winter and i had to heat it with uh, propane uh, and propane emits a lot of moisture and so it collects on the windows of course that's a very cold surface and the warm air and then the moisture combined from the propane uh, these things are wet all the time anyway uh, there you have it it's definitely a project uh, let me know if you want it <laughs> I'd be willing to deliver it so anybody that lives in a reasonable distance from me here in Oregon uh, and you want this thing, you know, let's talk. I'll, I'll be willing to deliver it, meet one of my viewers. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, let me show you my apartment upstairs. You ready to go inside? Oh boy, yes. Okay. All right, 
There you go. Come here. All right. There you go. It's a very nice one bedroom apartment up here. There's the kitty. And she's got a little cat door. Her litter box is downstairs. So you open in the kitchen. And it's a little on the cluttered side. No, I didn't plan on having company today. And I've got everything shut down because it's a warm day. And whew, trying to keep it cool inside the house here. So anyway, there you have it. Humble little abode. I don't have a lot going on. This is a painting that my mother did when she was doing oil paintings one time. That is Fern Canyon in Northern California in the Redwood National Parks. All right. Summit and my bed. <laughs> and the bath. And the bath is real nice. Check out the shower tile work. Not bad, huh? Nice. Carrera marble, but it is not marble. It is ceramic tile. Anyway, there you have it. That's my humble abode. All right. Let's go downstairs where it's nice. And I'll fill you in on some details. So the last video that I posted showing you Crater Lake and you know looking at some lots down there around Klamath Lake would give you a clue that I'm looking for a place to buy. Um, looking for a lot that I can use as um, oh, an investment, right? Um, I am going to quit working and I'm going to do some traveling. And so I'll be letting go of this place probably the end of October and I'll be heading out. So I do not want to live in a travel trailer. I'm going to keep it simple. I am going to be doing a lot of liquidating of the stuff that I've got. Uh, a lot of yard sales, a lot of garage sales. So um, everything that I want to keep will go into that 6x12 trailer. Um, you know, shop tools, things like that. Um, some gardening tools. Yeah, yeah, things to build with. <laughs> because uh, on this little lot that I'm going to buy, I'm looking for something basically that's unimproved um, and spending a minimal amount of cash on it. And so that's the plan. I don't know where that's going to be yet. Um, as I go along this summer, you'll see me do some more lot shopping and I hope to find something very uh, suitable. Um, it doesn't have to be anything permanent. It uh, is just, like I say, an investment property and it's a, a place to land. Um, you know, I'm not looking at being homeless. I'm looking at owning some real estate and visiting it and developing it and also traveling. So that's the plan. Um, yes, I am going to fully embrace retirement. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Good for me. Yeah, it's been a struggle deciding that. It really has been. But, um, yeah, it's time. It's time for me to uh, just to, uh, to go pursue my dreams. And the dream right now is seeing more of this beautiful country I live in and showing it to you as I travel along. So, anyway, that's all I've got for now. So, in the meantime, I will talk to you soon. I've got some other posts that I'll be doing really soon, and I just want you to know that I'm here, I'm okay, I'm getting over that illness, and you'll be seeing more of me again. So everybody that, uh, that um, commented on, you know, please, please post more, we miss you, what's wrong, <laughs> are you okay? You know, it's like, I'm okay, I'm finally over that horrible cold, uh, anyway. Be blessed and take a hike. Talk to you later.